Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a get ready with me. Just be prepared that I really don't know anything about makeup. If you guys haven't saw my video about get ready with me in my last one, I will link it down below. I'm just now starting to do my makeup a little bit more often than I normally do. But I got some new makeup the other day, which you guys probably saw in my last vlog. If you didn't, I will also link that down below. But I also haven't got, I haven't done my eyebrows either, so I don't know how well they're going to turn out. And my eyelashes are falling out, but it's fine. I'm just going to do some simple makeup and we'll just see how it turns out because I don't ever do my makeup. So I thought I'd just take you guys along with me on this journey of me not knowing what I'm doing. start off with the 120 pearl elf one because I am super white and I'm really hoping that this actually matches my skin tone I I never go in and get it actually tested like what skin tone I am but I just kind of guess for myself and I just put a little bit on here again guys I don't really know what I'm doing so just bear with me on this video so I'm gonna cover up all my acne because my face is always covered in acne and I really just don't know why it's always just around my mouth and I don't know why I've always had this ever since I was like a teenager but it's fine and yes I use a ton of foundation so I know I'm probably gonna get comments about this or whatever about how I use too much or I don't know but I'm just gonna put this around I like to just like dab it on when I'm trying to hide my pimples or my acne. I hate saying the word pimples, but I feel like I always do. But when I'm trying to cover up my acne, I feel like I like to kind of glob it on there because why not? I kind of do that around my whole entire face, at least like most of it, just so it's on evenly. And I think this is a little bit wider than my skin tone, but oh well. that I'm this is the ring light mirror I was talking to you guys about but I'm going to use it just so I can check and make sure that my makeup looks like it's all put together hold on I forgot to put lotion on before I did this darn it okay so now that I have most of that covered up I am going to take this is actually like super dark and I think this is called concealer I really don't even remember what any of this is called Oh yeah, normally I would put this on before I put on any of my makeup, but I completely forgot to put that on, so that's cool. But I'm going to put this on because it's super dark. I don't really like put it on. I try to contour my face, which I really suck at. I really don't know how to do makeup like whatsoever, like I've already said, so I just like to define those cheekbones. What the heck did you just do to your face? It's called, I don't really know how to do makeup is what it's called. No. And that's over. I like to take this BB, it's like foundation, but it's super, I think this, no, this is the darker one. I thought this was the, I swear I had a lighter one. I don't even know. I'm probably just gonna use my foundation again and go more under my eyes. So you can't really see like if I have any bags under my eyes because I probably do. Uh, this proves how much I do makeup because I can't even freaking remember like what kind of makeup I even have. I really just don't like my eyelashes right now. I'm just hating on myself right now. Okay, it's fine. Now, I would normally use this. Oh, it's Mary Kay. I didn't know that. I thought it was like really expensive. But I would normally use this powder that my mom got me. I don't really even know what it's called. What is it called? I think it's called finishing powder or something like that. Just foundation powder. See, I don't don't really know the names of this stuff. Okay, normally I would use like a different brush than this, but today I'm just gonna use this bigger brush. Actually, no, I'm not gonna use it. 
And I don't know any of the names of the brushes. I don't know the names of really any of this stuff unless it has like a name on it. So I think this is like a, it's a complexion brush. And I got it at, um, I think Target a long time ago. But yeah, I got it at Target. And then I think I got like all this makeup at Target, to be honest. I don't know. I'll let you guys know if there's any other makeup that's different that's not from Target. I also forgot to show you guys I got this e.l.f. eyebrow pencil last night. I forgot to show that in my vlog last night, but that's what I got. I'm going to do this e.l.f. I literally have e.l.f. everything. It's just cheaper makeup. That's the only reason why. And I normally never did my makeup before, so I didn't really care. I hate how this is like on my face. The, the light things are like on my face right there. <laughs> I am going to take my e.l.f. blush. I'm pretty sure it says blush. Guys, I really just don't know anything, so just, I don't know. And put it around my cheek. And I kind of like to blend it more into my chin, too. So, like, it all kind of matches. I also got this sheer tint finishing powder yesterday so there's that that i didn't use but eyeshadow i normally do just kind of like the nude natural colors oh my gosh i just i just dropped it on the couch it's... okay so my this palette i've shown in my last one it is the maybelline palette the nude palette and i like to just use uh, for the base, well, the base that I actually normally use just fell out. For the base, I could please use like a lighter color. So normally, I would go like with this color right here. I don't want to lift it all the way up because otherwise the makeup that broke is going to come out. But I use this color right here. It's just going to be pretty simple makeup here. And then I normally will take more of like this pinkish color and kind of oh you guys can't see this pinkish color and this brown and kind of mix them together a little bit and then i normally will take oh my gosh this stuff keeps going okay. so my other palette that i have is that's similar to this only it's like darker colors i like to take on the lighter side of it i like to take this um this one right here like to put it just kind of until it reaches like the top of my brow. Then I have highlighting powder. So just warning you guys, I don't know how to use highlighter at all. And that's basically just all I'm gonna say about that. But I use this brush. I don't even know what kind of brush it is. It doesn't even say, but it's some random brush that I got in some random place. I really don't remember. It's really old. I'm going to start from here and go up with it and kind of just define my I don't know what I'm defining but I'm defining some stuff on here I don't know I just see other people do this so I'm gonna do this and then I also do the same thing oh my gosh I am ruining my face and then I also like to do a little bit on the tip of my nose if I want to be extra which sometimes I do want to be extra I will take this highlighting powder and use it as eyeshadow and I'll put it on the lids of my eyes so I'm not really going to, obviously I'm not going to do my eyelashes because for one, there's still like my fake eyelashes in there and I don't really want to ruin them because she's going to fix them soon. So let me make sure this looks actually looking good. So I don't want to ruin them. So I'm just going to leave my eyelashes and go on to my eyebrows. I really wish I could do my eyebrows really good because my eyebrows are naturally just shaped good but i just don't know how to work with them so there's that oh my gosh okay guys this is just a bad idea to do in general so my brand new pencil this thing just fell out in between the couch because that would happen to me i go from like here it's really hard to do when i'm not actually looking in like a mirror but i go from here and kind of just like make a line i guess my eyebrows don't go straight they kind of curve so i have to like follow my eyebrow like what it's doing oh my gosh sadie you can't do anything right My 
eyebrows. I hate doing them because I feel like they look like too thick because my eyebrows are already like thick. But at the same time, there is parts that actually need to be done on my eyebrows. They look, yeah, they look actually really good today. Woohoo, go me. Oh, my lip gloss. So I normally, would, well, sometimes I'll just put on chapstick, but most of the time, I will always put on this lip gloss again by e.l.f. because I'm too cheap to buy expensive makeup, but it is the lip plumping one and it is seriously my favorite. I go through it so, I feel, I feel like I go through it so fast for like lip gloss. I always have hated lip gloss until I don't know why. I just automatically started liking it. Anyway, so I'm gonna put this just on. Okay, so this is my completed makeup look. I normally would have my eyelashes be a little bit more thicker and it would look more like I have mascara on, but this is kind of a very natural look that I always do, and I think it looks the best. I don't really like, I've tried to do eyeliner on myself, I've tried to do like darker colors, and it just doesn't really go well with my skin tone, so I kind of just stick with a more natural look. So, this is my makeup. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Be sure to like and subscribe, and uh, give this video a big thumbs up, even though I just said like. Comment down below how, what you thought of this video and if you have any tips on how to help me with my makeup because I know it needs some help. But yeah, thank you guys so much for all of your guys' support. I can't even believe that Vlogmas is almost coming to an end. It is actually super sad. I'm kind of getting sad about it as I'm talking about it. But it has, you guys have literally supported me so much and I'm so thankful for all of you, the subscribers that I've been getting and all the support. I keep saying support. Anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I love you guys. Bye!